The grocery industry is undergoing a period of significant change. With evolving in-store technologies, shifting shopper preferences, and greater demands for a better in-store experience. One area that has seen significant investment in recent years is self-service technology, or kiosks that allow customers to pay, make orders, and find what they need in the store faster. In fact, a 2022 IBM study found that 71% of consumers say they use or would like to use self-checkout. 26% of consumers want a broader range of self-service options, including touchscreen monitors and self-checkout. Demod Nixdorf is a technology provider primarily to tier zero, tier one, grocery, fuel and convenience, hospitality, and fashion retailers. We provide hardware, software, and services solutions. So the trends that, that I'm seeing sort of in what I'm interested in terms of AI is the checkouts becoming more intelligent. You know, being able to recognize fresh produce, being able to detect when there's sort of theft scenarios going on. And that's interesting for me to see, you know, how that technology is starting to progress into being integrated into checkouts and, you know, starting to get rolled out into the real world. Rolling out new technologies in a store setting has more implications than we might assume. In 2023 and beyond, there's no simple answer as to how a checkout solution can bring about change for both the customer and the workforce. The majority of the conversations this year have been about what innovation we've brought, things like age verification, facial recognition, and shrink-based solutions that really improve that consumer journey and, and help retailers with a lot of those friction points. The partnership that we have with Diebold Nixdorf, you know, is, is really an answer to some of those challenges. The thing that, that makes the, the relationship really, really great is we, we kind of have a similar philosophy in terms of how we, we design products in an open and modular way. It's a constantly evolving thing. And so um, the technology that we've put together with Diebold Nixdorf is, is something that can um, make the experience more frictionless by detecting produce, um, that don't have barcodes or detecting, you know, theft scenarios. But really it's about a system that is able to learn and adapt because the real world is messy and unpredictable, right? So the system has to be able to evolve, you know, in the field and become smarter over time. Our partnership with C-Change is absolutely fantastic. And our partnership is really strong because it's really focused on how do we apply the AI in the store to improve that consumer journey or help the retailers with their specific issues. With AI becoming more and more mainstream, it's no surprise that the market for AI in retail is expected to grow rapidly over the next five years, reaching over 31 billion US dollars by 2028. And helping retailers solve this issue doesn't need to be one dimensional. That's exactly why Diebold Nixdorf and C-Change are collaborating to create modular, future-proof solutions that can easily embrace new technologies like AI to help retailers support a customer-centric journey. I think what I would say to retailers is for this kind of solution, they should look for a partner that can work with them because this is an emerging technology, okay? It isn't something where, you know, you can just take something off the shelf and it will just work exactly the way you want it in your environment. It's something where, where a partnership works better because then the system will be adapted to work exactly the way you want it in your region and the way that you want it to work. Our advice would be to start with the data. Identify the problem that exists within your stores first and then find the right technology partner um, that meets those needs. And then more crucially, put the consumer at the middle of everything that you do, be it the implementation, the design of the technology, or how you deploy it and use your staff within the stores. The customer has to come first.